see why I asked for it. So I'm gonna do a rundown of what I carry in my Vito. If you know me, I don't like making trips with my van. So I use the Tech XL Wheeler. Um, I love this thing. Sent last year at HR. I wanted to buy it on the floor. They weren't doing it. Um, so I pre-ordered it as soon as I could. And I've been dragging this thing around in the kitchens ever since. Cool features. Got the hard plastic bottom. Uh, greasy water kitchen floors. I don't want the bottom getting wet, getting rotted out, so it takes care of it. So on the front, uh, in this pocket, I just keep some stickers. Uh, we'll do a sticker stuff or my work. So I got a roll of stickers in there. Um, also got Marco stickers in there. Helps us track the equipment life. This one, just keep some business cards in there. So, out and about. Give one to a customer. Um, it's not going to request me personally, so it's got my contact information on there, who I am. Design my cell phone, has the work office number. So um, I roll that way. Only very select customers get my uh, cell phone number. Open it up, stuff's falling out. Um, M12 light, absolutely love this thing. Magnetic head pivots. Uh, it goes everywhere with me. Magnetic. M12 Surge. I've had this in a couple of years. You can tell it's pretty beat up. Um, about to upgrade, get a new one. So we'll see. And the zippers in this one, I keep a roll of uh, tape, my rationale software, a bag of some miscellaneous electrical connectors. Um, Anytime I scrap a unit that's got Wagos, I take the Wagos out and keep them. You never know when they're coming handy. Uh, and I keep some zip ties in here. And some small little tubes of uh, pipe dope. This is a backup in case I leave my big tube somewhere I don't have it. So always have those in there. Um, you may ask why I have this little wire here. This little wire is the perfect size for cleaning orifices out on a water injection for a combo therm combi oven. So uh, if I don't have this, I always try to find like a sprinkler wire, like for the tag, but I just learned to keep it here and I always have it. So this is our compartment. Keep my right angle adapter. It's just some various bits, even duplicated bits, so. Just some bits, um, nothing major. So. There's some the next, I know where to find them. I will say one thing that drives me nuts about this, is when these things are zipped up, all the zippers are in different directions. So if you got OCD, it bugs you, it bugs me. So, but that's the only thing I can complain about really. So the next one down, Keep my tubing cutters. Keep some different wrenches. Uh, my refrigeration wrenches. Just some common wrenches I use throughout the day. Those things save my butt, man. Save my butt. Um, just some more stuff needs to be thrown in there. Get some hose clamps in there. Uh, looks like a Walmart program stick. Maybe throw it in the other spot. So, but just various wrenches. There's a punch, a random drill bit in there. I'm gonna take that out. Punch in the back. Let's keep this all wrenches. My little hemos. So, paint marker Sharpie, paint marker, man, I use the same on everything. Belt silver sizes on units, installation dates on units, Sharpie, you never know what you're gonna need to write on. Uh, marking pipe depth insertion, compressing, uh, anything like that. So, screwdrivers, I'm not brand loyal. I will rock anything. So it's just a Klein multi-pack I have. Uh, can't go wrong with Klein. These are uh, the Linux demo screwdrivers. Uh, man, I beat on these things. 
beat the living daylights out of them and I can't complain. Uh, they always take it. Uh, these are my favorite nut drivers. Uh, quarter inch 5 16 hollow with a magnet. Well, used to have a magnet anyways. Um, who knows where they're at? Probably in the bottom of the bag. Wire strippers. Use the climb with the uh, big head on there. Oh, I guess I can twist on some things. They're comfortable, they cut great. I can't complain. So I got my diamond cutters, my needle nose. Just a set of uh, Milwaukee lines, lines since I had. I had a couple sets out of my Brook one set, so I'm back to using that one. I haven't picked up Klein yet. Uh, Milwaukee crimper. I am a big fan of a dedicated crimper. Um, I don't like the combo ones. These, you know, they're designed to crimp. And you can get some force on them with those big handles. So uh, they're my go-to crimpers. Uh, I don't care if they're Milwaukee, Klein. Everybody's got a version. Looks about the same. Couple of uh, Linux insulated screwdrivers. Fill some straight. So I have the uh, Klein adjustable wrenches. I got the narrow one and the standard one. Got the Klein. I'm not even sure what this one is. Does a bunch of different things. And I got the 14 one adjustable. Kinefx Cobras. Kinefx pliers wrenches. I can't go wrong with Kinefx, man. Those things are my go to. Um, just an old pair of channel locks. Uh, keeping in there because I need two. Uh, I need to get my other Cobras in here. So up here, hey, found our wrench. Let's keep a utility knife, scissors. Um, from cutting filter medium stuff. There's a scraper. And my mirror, inspection mirror. Let me fill down in here. Stickers. So that's it for this side. So this thing is hardware. So let's load her back up. I also have the 7 in 1 nut driver, but I took it out into my van. Kind of stick it down in there. Holds in place. Backside. It's pretty simple. I, I like having a lot of room in the back because uh, these restaurants, you can't make multiple trips in and out. I think you come to the back door before they open. So, uh, headlamp. Just keep it in there because I need it. Field piece. I'm a field piece snob. Everything I own is field piece. I love this meter. 
SC680. Uh, does everything I need plus more. Keep my manometers in here. Uh, do a lot of gas pressure tests. So field piece manometers, wireless job link setup. Kills it for me every time I need it. It's great. Love it because it's got two uh, manometers, so I can do um, static and dynamic at the same time on multiple pieces. I can do manifold and incoming pressure. Um, I can do everything. So this bag is just my uh, quarter inch drive metric sockets. Identify it by the white stripe. This bag, identified by the black stripe, is my quarter inch drive standard sockets. So nothing major, just a uh, cobalt. Um, up here, I just keep some precision screwdrivers, um, some random stuff. I'll go ahead and put a punch in here. Precision screwdrivers and stuff like that, thermostat screwdrivers. Um, the only thing I don't like, don't get out very far. So, a couple Milwaukee boxes, just different bits. I know I don't need to really carry all this. I probably need to get rid of it or leave it on the truck, but just different bits and stuff. It's the same thing, just more bits. I'm terrible about having stuff. Like, I mean, half of them are missing, so I can probably consolidate them down to one. What fun is that? Uh, this little well built multi tool. I just keep it in here in case I want to tear something up, I guess. Um, Allen's. So, my Allen's, Allen keys. I'll make fun of if I have a craftsman, I lose them all the time, so I buy cheap ones. Um, if you see my other videos, I, I cut them off and make other tools out of them, so I really don't care. A um, little bottle of Loctite. Blue. Just keep it up here. It's not out of the way. Um, the zipper compartment, I keep a couple of cleaning tools. So I've got a, this is actually a trombone cleaning tool and it works great for cleaning out tubing and stuff. Then I have the bun cleaning out tool. Um, these two sprays are flexible. They go anywhere. They get me out of a jam, and then I keep a um, wire marker book. Um, so I'm doing elements and stuff. Sometimes there can be like 20 wires on something, and uh, I'll draw a little schematic, and then I'll tag them all, and then I get them all back, man. I don't claim to know it all. I just set myself up for uh, success. If you set yourself up for success, you will succeed. Take pictures, document what you can, do what you gotta do. This part, keep a couple extra cloth thermocouples. Let me see if I can get this out without killing myself. And then the ever so crazy Frymaster Ninja Star. This is for uh, little black microamp connectors on their boards and stuff. These little pins is how you get the uh, wires out. So you actually push this in there and the wire pop right out. So you keep it in there. Get it careful though, because those will go right underneath your fingernail and you will bleed. So I just can't keep it tucked up out of there. I'm not in that one very much. So like I said, this cost, uh, double coil probes are nice. Uh, they withstand high temp. So got my brush in here. Some random electrical connectors right here. Uh, I'll probably put that on the other side, but it's a little trim tool. Pops off those little clips and stuff. Um, little small pair of channel locks. Um, and this one I got nylon blue, put that shit on everything. Just kidding. Some leak lock, some uh, RTV high temp silicone. Use it on a lot of stuff, so make sure I keep it in my bag and I'm not sure if I got to the truck. Um, if I tear a gasket or something, I can just repair it until I get the correct order. So this is the current pipe dip I use. Uh, Loctite 567, this stuff doesn't turn hard and it does a really good job. So uh, we uh, pretty much use this for everything. And I keep a little bit of gas valve grease. Uh, those manual valves on uh, ranges and stuff, you can take them apart, put a little bit of this grease on there, rub it in, good as new. So that's about it as far as the Vito goes. Um, tape on the outside, so I got black electrical tape. The, this is not white electrical tape. I mean, it's white, but it's high temp, it's fiberglass. Um, so using like ovens or high temp applications, you don't want to use regular electrical tape because it'll melt. So, but that's how I be though. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get complaints. Like, why do I carry this? Why do I carry that? I mean, it's constantly changing. 
all the time. Um, I like this bag, like I said, because there's plenty of room in here. Let me show you. I'll get everything back in here. And I got room for parts. I got room for other tools. So I still got room to put parts up here, other tools, bigger tools. Still zip it up. Put that bad boy in there. But this thing's the champ, man. I drag it upstairs, downstairs, uh, up and down curbs. It takes it all. There's some outside storage on the outside. I don't like putting anything out there because I'll drop it and I'll never know. Tape measure holder. I don't carry it on there. Um, risk of falling so but this is what i drag in the restaurants if i go on the rooftop i've got a smaller bag i throw everything in but right now uh i've been kind of limited on rooftop access and stuff so but there you have it that's how i beat it